Hi students, uh, this video is a demo on how to use MySQL Workbench client to do a backup of your database, right? So here I am connecting to the server. Alright, so I have Okay, so let's say the intent is to back up this database, right? So what I should uh, be doing is I will go to the administration and I'm going to choose uh, data export. Alright, so choose data export. And here you choose the database that you want to back up, right? So I'm going to choose movie underscore review, right? So you can take note of this location or you can specify a new one, all right? So I'm going to just accept this one. Okay, maybe I'll just name it as movie, all right? And Okay, so over here uh uh probably we can check this one. So this one means that if such a database does not if such a database does not exist in your program, then uh, it will go on to create that database. All right, so it's including the create schema uh, command. Okay, so uh, we are done. Okay, so uh, we are going to click export. <coughs> All right, so it is done. So you can take note of this folder. So here I'm going to access my folder and uh, basically this is these are the two files. Okay, so these are the two files that has been uh, exported. Right, so uh, let's try to uh, import in the two files to make sure that everything is working. So this is this is my existing table. So you can see the the information for the movie table and also information for the comment table, right? So I'm going to drop this <coughs> database. Yeah. So do take note that dropping a table data or database is uh, a very serious command, right? So most of the time it is irre irreversible. Alright, so uh, do think twice when you execute such a command. So here I'm dropping it. <clears throat> so now that it is dropped, so I'm going to uh, open up the SQL. So I'm going to open up this particular one, movie. Alright. So uh, basically you can see the first command here, if database does not exist, which we don't have it, uh, we don't have it, then it will be created, okay? Then uh, creating of table and and after that, uh, inserting of all the values. So you can see the, the insertion is all here, okay? It's a very long line, all here. All right, so click on the lightning icon. All right, so uh, you should, most of the time you should see the green, green ticks. So the yellow one means uh, it still went through but there's some kind of warning. So it could be certain uh, like extra data is being dropped. Okay, but not to worry, it is okay. Right, so the next thing is, uh, yeah, if you refresh it, you will see the table movie. So let's go and uh, load in the other SQL, the comment. Right, so let's clear this one and let's run it again. Okay, so same thing. So refresh it and you have your table back. Right, so so this is the movie table and this is the comments table. Right, so it is very important to keep a backup of your database. Right, so once you have your database backup, then I think you can go ahead and experiment things because uh, in any case, when your current database is corrupted, you can always drop the corrupted database and revert by importing in the backup SQL. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. I hope this tutorial is useful for you.